What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection, then, now, and forever series, Jason Jordan. As you can see, Jason Jordan does include the one half of the NXT Tag Team Championship, which I'm really excited for. And of course we have him in the packaging. An image of Jason Jordan on both sides, and then him holding the tag tile right here. Championship has always seemed to elude Jason Jordan, a three-time NCAA qualifier in the Division I level. He always came close, but not close enough. Then, along with Chad Gable, created American Alpha with his partner in his corner on April 2016 at NXT TakeOver Dallas. Jordan finally became the champion he was destined to be. Other figures of this line do include Chad Gable, or Chad Gable, excuse me. Seth Rollins, and Miss Elizabeth. So with that being said, guys, let's actually take Jason Jordan out of the packaging and go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight, everyone. And here we have Jason Jordan posing out of the packaging. And my voice sounds a little raspy. I'm sorry, I just came from a WWE live event. But anyway, here we do have Jason Jordan out of the packaging, and I have to say, really, really like this figure. Let's get on to his accessories before we talk about the figure. He does come with one half of the NXT Tag Team titles. Now, this is actually the belt he came with. This is the belt that Chad Gable comes with. And at first looks, it looks, it would appear that they're the exact same mold, just different paint apps. But if you were to look carefully at them, sorry, I moved the camera a little bit. They are actually two unique molds. You can see that the molds are anywhere where it's black is recessed and all the gold is raised up so it's almost like the black parts on both titles are embossed and the gold is risen so I really do like that. Again this is Chad Gable's belt. This is the one that Jason Jordan comes with. Really like that dynamic and I know a lot of people are a little bit upset that it's not the shiny plastic that we or the vac metal that we see with other titles, but it still looks really nice, and I do like it. Just like all the other titles, it has that same clip system, so you can put it around the waist of Jason Jordan here. So, in case you're wondering, it does fit, and it's not a loose fit. It actually does wrap around pretty good. You're just going to be using the final tabs right here. But still, really like this belt. Glad that they included it. And now, let's actually go on to Jason Jordan here. And right out of the packaging, I did have to heat up, I think it was this leg. Because this leg was warped out of packaging. And I don't know, it, I had to do that with several figures from this series. So bear, keep that in mind that the way they, they are posed, you might have to take a hair dryer to straighten out the limbs. I think it was this one, though. I don't remember, but you can see they're pretty much level out now, but still really loving this attire that he has now. I know a lot of people complain that American Alpha has much brighter colors for their singlets, but I still love this design. I don't know what it is about the silver and blue camo, but it actually works for me. Now, this figure does have a few issues, mainly with questionable choices but I'll go more on that later if we have a look at the face for Jason Jordan it kind of looks like Barack Obama I'm not the only one that sees that I hope I'm not but it has that former president Barack Obama feel to it I don't know if I'm the only one that sees it but if I am then maybe that's just me if not let me know down in the comments you will notice that his arms and his torso are two different colors now. The reason for that is that they molded his torso in black plastic. I don't know why they did that. Just the amount of flesh tone that is exposed on him. Why didn't they just mold this in flesh tone and paint? It's actually less work when you do it that way. But I don't know if that's the way Mattel decided to do it. But it doesn't... It's not a make or break decision for the figure, but it is something to take into consideration. He does have his wrist tape painted on. 
you go onto his knee pads, which look really nice. I do like the fact that the camo is on this side, but he has a knee pad on his left leg, so that's pretty cool. And then we have his sneakers, which, you know, he wears sneakers. There's no problem in that, but he does. And like I said, it's not my preferred look. I kind of prefer wrestling boots. But speaking of American Alpha, let's actually bring Chad Gable in really fast so you can see there's a size difference between the two. And they actually do look really nice together when you have them posed on the shelf. Uh, it's up to you if you want to have the camo on the same side or the black singlet, but that's really up to you. So let's actually move on to Jason Jordan's articulation. He does have the standard elite articulation. He has a ball jointed head, which he can look up, but you can see on mine... It always wants to come back down, except now. It goes up, and it slightly comes back down. Can't really look down, but he does have some head tilt, so that's pretty good. Does look left and right. Shoulders go out to about that far. They're a little stiff on mine. Do a full 360. He has a bicep swivel. Single jointed in the elbow. Spins and bends at the wrist. No problem there. Has an ab crunch, which goes back about that far. Forward about that far, waist swivel, legs go forward, back, and out, spins at the thigh, he is double jointed in the knee, which is pretty good, spins at the boot, or spins at the shoe, he has an ankle hinge, although I really don't like when the figure has these really short boots, because I always feel like I'm going to break that peg when moving the foot, but he does have an ankle hinge, which doesn't go too far back, and I can't get it to go too far. Okay, there we go. It does go forward, but you just kind of got to force it a little bit. And he does have very little pivot in his ankle, so you're not going to get too much rocker ankle out of him. So with that being said, let's actually move on to my final thoughts so I can wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Jason Jordan pose for my final thoughts, and just so you can see what they look like with the belts, here's Chad Gable. And they look really nice together. And if you pick up one, chances are you are going to want to pick up the other one. And they look really nice together. But I found Jason Jordan at Walmart. And the Then, Now, and Forever series is a Walmart exclusive. So if you are trying to track these guys down, they are starting to hit your local Walmart. So go out, check, see if you can find them. I actually found the entire wave in one go. So I didn't have to go out looking for them, which... Thankfully, I found them on my first trip out, so it wasn't too much of a hassle. And surprisingly, they did come out to seventeen dollars. Uh, it was twenty, uh, about twenty dollars with tax, but that is a really good bargain for elite figures, especially because the last series was nineteen ninety nine, and it's good to see that this wave is actually the same price as your standard elite figure. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000, and I highly recommend you pick up this Elite Jason Jordan from Walmart. If you like this video, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of Jason Jordan. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out all my other WWE action figure reviews. Hopefully there's something on the channel that you like, and if there's not, let me know down in the comments if there's a figure you would like to see me review. And if it fits in my collection, I will definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.